For this video, I am going to show you how to roll a coil. Take your hunk of clay. I like to wedge this red clay, even though it is a fresh bag of clay, because this red clay always seems to be a little bit stiffer. So just wedging it helps to wake those clay particles up and it starts to get a little bit softer and more workable. Now I'm gonna stretch this clay out. To do that, I'm gonna start tossing it across the table. So not just throwing it down because that's just gonna flatten it. I wanna stretch it by tossing it towards my right side tossing it on a horizontal. When it gets a little bit bigger, I'll grab it with both of my hands and keep rotating it and tossing it. So not down, but across. You should see it getting longer. If you see it getting flatter, then you're using too much force against the table instead of across the table. So you're really just tossing that clay across the table. So now it's a little bit longer. If you have any of these little creases, you can just take your thumb and blend them in. Now I'm gonna take my thumb and my fingers, I'm gonna stack my hands on top of each other, and I'm just gonna start to squeeze the clay from the middle up. I'll flip the coil and squeeze from the middle up. This is gonna start making this coil more round and it's gonna knock down any hard, sharp edges that you might have from throwing it against the table. And as you can see, it's also stretching that coil out and making it longer and thinner. Once I have it pretty uniform, I'm gonna place it on the table. Do make sure your table's free of any dry clay scraps. Even this dust can be a, can make your clay, your coil dry out a little bit quicker. So I like to put a little bit of water in my hands. I'm gonna place my hands down about in the middle of the coil and roll. I'm gonna start to roll from my wrist through my fingertips. So I start to roll outward. So starting in the middle, moving the pressure outward. You can see I'm rolling from my wrist through my fingertips. If I get a thicker spot, I'm going to start my hands to the outside of that thicker spot. So here's my thicker spot. I'm gonna start here right to the outside and stretch that thicker spot. Now I kind of jumped in the middle of it. Now this is about the thickness that I want. So now I'm just gonna work on trying to make it nice and uniform. It's a little thinner here and it's a little bit flatter there. If you get a flat spot, you can kind of squeeze that flat spot or even pick it up and squeeze it between your fingers to make it more round. So this is quite a long coil, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Stretch it out a bit more. You do want to cut these ends off if it overlapped at all. So I'm just going to trim that end off because there's a little tunnel there. If that pushed down when you're going to go to coil and pinch, you could get a little air pocket trapped in there. 